Today, we celebrate the feast of St. Teresa of Avila, a 16th century Spanish mystic, writer, and reformer of the Carmelite order. St. Teresa was born in 1515 in Avila, Spain, at a time of great turmoil and change in Europe. The Protestant Reformation, the discovery of new lands, and the rise of new political and religious powers all shaped the context of her life. She was raised in a devout Catholic family, but she also had a lively and adventurous personality. She loved to read books, especially stories of chivalry and romance. She was also very beautiful and charming, attracting many admirers. When she was 18, she entered the Carmelite convent of the Incarnation in Avila, despite the opposition of her father. She felt drawn to a life of prayer and service to God, but she also struggled with her own weaknesses and temptations. She suffered from poor health, spiritual dryness, and worldly distractions. She admitted that she spent many years in a lukewarm state of faith, divided between God and the world. However, when she was 39, she had a profound conversion experience that changed her life forever. She was praying before a statue of the wounded Christ when she felt a deep sorrow for her sins and a great love for God. She also began to have mystical visions and revelations that filled her with joy and peace. She realized that God was calling her to a deeper intimacy with him through prayer and contemplation. She also felt called to reform the Carmelite order, which had become lax and comfortable over the years. She wanted to restore the original spirit of the order, which was based on poverty, solitude, and silence. She faced many obstacles and oppositions from those who resisted her reforms, including some of her own sisters, priests, bishops, and even the Spanish Inquisition. She was accused of being deluded, disobedient, and dangerous, yet she persevered with courage and humility, trusting in God's will and guidance. She founded 17 new convents for women and helped St. John of the Cross to reform the male branch of the order. She traveled extensively throughout Spain, despite her frail health and the dangers of the road. She wrote several books on prayer and spirituality that are considered classics of Christian literature. Some of her most famous works are The Way of Perfection, The Interior Castle, and The Book of Her Life. She died in 1582 at the age of 67 in Alba de Torm, Spain. She was canonized in 1622 by Pope Gregory XV and declared a doctor of the church in 1970 by Pope Paul VI. She is one of the most influential and beloved saints in the church, admired for her wisdom, humor, and holiness. St. Teresa of Avila teaches us that prayer is not only a duty, but also a privilege and a joy. She shows us how to cultivate a personal relationship with God through love, trust, and surrender. She also inspires us to be faithful to our vocation and mission in life, even when we face difficulties and oppositions. She reminds us that God is always with us and that nothing can disturb or frighten us if we have him as our friend. Finally, let us conclude together with a prayer to St. Teresa. Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing frighten you. All things are passing away. God never changes. Patience obtains all things. Whoever has God lacks nothing. God alone suffices. Amen.